twin cities did not yield. The Mongols would need a new tactic to breach the Great Song Fortress. Rather than another costly head-on assault, they planned to cut off the cities by blocking the critical supply route at Lumenshan. Song defector, General Lu Zheng, advised Kublai Khan that the best strategy to take Shangyang was to construct a blockade, completely cutting it off. Lu Zheng led the Mongol army to the trade route at Lumenshan and set his plan in motion. The general's plan depended on recruiting local workers who could build defenses. The first step was to eliminate the Song garrison near the village of Lumen. army tore through the Song garrison, and with these guardians removed, the people of Lumen gave their support to Lu Zheng and Kublai Khan. Controlling Lumen allowed Lu Zheng to employ Chinese tactics and equipment, including the construction of stone walls. He ordered the people to build walls to block the roads north, cutting off Shangyang from the rest of the Song. Hey, 
The people of Lumen reported that the village of Boheko, located to the west, would also welcome Lu Zheng's arrival. If the general could get forces to Boheko, it would add both an economic and military boost to his blockade. Boheko not only welcomed Lu Zheng's men, but members of the local militia even defected to the Mongol cause. Stout walls now blocked off the first of the major routes to Shangyang.
建得很好。一座需要建造的基地，高昌，不必怀疑。我这就建好这座建筑。我们正在等待指令，村民。我会确保它变得很好。第一高超，不有安逸。不要收到命令了。Lu Zheng's vision was complete. The Mongols' great blockade now cut off the Song cities. However, the Song commanders would not leave Shangyang to stand alone, and sent forces to break through the Mongol barrier. Song forces descended on Lu Zheng's men. The general needed to defend what he had taken from his former masters. Ready,准备接受下个工作。我会确保它建得很好。一座需要建造的建筑。
子。新命令即将下达，平军，战争正式磨碎靴子。指令。石弩车有何指令？龙城弹射可以移动中。高超，不用。大家听好，我们要收到命令了。皮带着矿物，我会确保它建得很好。
村民就绪，等待工作中。在您的矿坑工作十分容易。十到两。我知道自己在干嘛。前面鬼，先躲下点点。躲下点点鬼。Тани тушасыг хүзээм үй. Туршуул дахгүй тушасар дахгүй мүй. Тушасар хүдүүд мүй. Тани тушасыг бүгдүй үгүй даг мүй. Хийж бар мүй. Erchute, bit. Erchute, zerg toy tapshit koi. Nene ugar ya urda koi. Am. Oter gut tri. Shi, wo yi zhen. 大家听好，命令即将下达。在您的矿坑。我们不下不得跪地。黑珍珠。那么哈西我的会。Би явж байм үй. Дайсан янур харамдла. Дайсан биддийм дохтудам үй. Эйчүүдэ, хэд. Дүүрдэ, хэдгүй. The Mongols maintained control of the Song trade route at Lumenshan, cutting off Shangyang from the south. Thanks to the insights of General Lu Zheng, Kublai Khan's plan to weaken the Great Song fortress was working. Cavalry was an integral part of the Mongol army. By definition, they were fully armored. Heavy cavalrymen were troops who went into the thick of the fighting. Mongol heavy cavalry had steel helmets, but they also had this very distinctive form of armor here, known as lamina, made of steel, rawhide, and even leather. Now, in this example, you can see how the individual scales have been laced together often with doe skin. Rows of lamellae, which in turn was then sewn into fabric or leather backing. Lamina armor is wonderfully robust. It's flexible, relatively lightweight, and easy to repair. The Mongol heavy cavalryman in his characteristic lamella armor was the hammer in the Mongol war machine. All Mongols, both heavy and light cavalry, were capable horse archers. However, for the heavy cavalry, shock troops that rode into and smashed the enemy, the bow was of secondary importance. Their principal weapon of first contact was the lance. Using the momentum of the horse, the lance was mostly used point first.
to strike and pierce a foe. It could be used with great precision. Strikes with the point were effective, but the Mongol lance had an additional feature. Not only did you have the spearhead for running into and through the enemy, but you also had this hook to haul them from the saddle. It took considerable strength to pull a man from his horse. And doing so took him out of the fighting just as successfully as a head-on strike. In hand-to-hand -hand combat, the Mongols used the sword to slice their way to victory. But they also had this, the great mace which they used with two hands. <laughs> Mongol armies were famous for their ability to move fast and strike with surprise. But their heavy cavalry was a brutal shock force that could overwhelm crush an enemy with raw power. <laughs> <laughs>